What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am back in snowy Minnesota. I regret to inform you that I did not film anything else for you guys while I was in Florida. Unfortunately, it's just too stressful to do it when I'm with other people. I really need to make like a work trip down there because there are so many things that I really want to film. It's just yeah, it's really tough when you're with people. So I found this recipe. I can't even remember where I found it. I will put it here, but I found this recipe. I've wanted to make Asian noodles for a little while now. I am obsessed with these Taiwanese noodles that I actually found on Amazon. I tried to find them at the Asian grocery store but they've been out. They've got this like tiny little Taiwanese noodle section. And yeah, the kind of noodles that I'm looking for, just not there. These are not the kind that I was actually like fully looking for. 
The ones I really wanted were a bit wider, more substantial, like more like fettuccine even. But anyways, I ended up just buying the noodles on Amazon and kind of hijacking this recipe that I found to include meat because I really wanted to add some protein into this dish. I also really wanted to add these pea greens to it. Uh, I had them recently at a Chinese restaurant for the first time and I'm like full on obsessed with them. So without further ado, I would love to start eating. I was super nervous about overcooking these noodles. I literally had them in boiling water for like a minute. <laughs> before I added them into this so hopefully I didn't completely screw it up as always I will include the link to the recipe that I used along with what I did different in the description of the video so that if you guys want to make it yourselves you can all right let's see how <laughs> these noodles are so fun I have a spoon for twirling but I want to like like show you guys how cool are they they're these like squiggly noodles I actually found them for the first time on Stern Styles channel mm. you know what So this actually came from an instant noodle pack and it came with Szechuan chili oil and I just, like, just decided that I want to add it, so happening. Get a little bit of numbing spice in there. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll start with two packs. I'm not going to like mix it in thoroughly or anything. I don't have time for that right now. I'm sure you guys notice I am not drinking today, not alcohol anyways. Got some green tea that I'm sipping on instead. <laughs> huh? All right, guys. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. That Szechuan chili oil like makes it, honestly. I don't know why, but I have like such a hard time using chopsticks. <laughs> For noodles anyways, sushi, I'm a pro. Noodles, not so much. I think it's because my hands shake a little bit. My dad and my grandfather both have a trimmer, and I sort of have one too. Only when I'm doing some things, but this is one of them. Mm. So this recipe did not call for black vinegar, which I did decide to add, and I'm really glad I did. It kind of reminds me of eating dumplings, because you uh, have that vinegar dipping sauce typically with, well not all dumplings, but I'm specifically thinking of like soup dumplings, and I absolutely love that. So I was like, I'm going to add it see what happens and it's delicious
I tried to find Szechuan chili powder at the Asian grocery store. United Noodle, by the way, is the Asian grocery store that I go to. They've got so many things there. I was eyeing, they have like this whole row of frozen dumplings, which I'm dying to try. I'm also planning to make my own homemade dumplings. I'm not sure if they will be like Chinese or what country I'm gonna make them from. An influencer friend of mine, Food Lover's Diary is her handle. She just came out with a dumpling cookbook and I know she's got some Russian dumplings, some like Eastern European dumplings. So I'm kind of wanting to try that first on the dumpling route for homemade. Maybe I'll just do a big frozen dumpling mukbang from this United Noodle place I go to. My first time ever cooking with flank steak too. You see my hand. I'm not jittier. Jittier. I'm not jittery or anything. It's just my hand. Just this hand. This hand's fine. There's a really oniony. So there's leeks, scallions, another kind of onion. We got scallions two ways in here. We sauteed them, and then we also made that ginger scallion oil. So it's very, very oniony, which I love. I was actually expecting to taste the ginger a bit more. So maybe I'll add more grated or minced ginger just to the saute pan next time instead of having those big chunks. I feel like I really need like a wok or something too. I feel like it really makes a difference to have a big wok like that when you're making dishes like this. This is so good. They're like crispy, the stems. I love that they have texture to them. I've been trying to find more like greens to include in my diet, but I really like the greens that have more texture to them. Even when I make spinach, I like half cook it. I'll throw it in and like half wilt it down and keep some of it kind of whole so that it's not just like bolted down to nothing. Need more of these mushrooms. I love the bite that these have. They're like kind of spongy, squishy, chewy.
love that savoriness too that you get from mushrooms. They call it umami, which is just that like je ne sais quoi flavor that you get from certain foods. Anchovies is another one. Oh, there's a little puppy in the window. How much is that puppy in the window? Woof, woof, woof. I sing that to my cat about my cat. Then I obviously change it to kitten. I think we need more of this. How much is that kitten in the window? Meow, meow, meow. They love it. They know that I'm singing to them. Actually, funny story, they hate when I sing. It really makes them nervous. Sometimes I'll sing in the shower. I sing, by the way. I really don't like announcing it because I feel so out of practice that I would like really not want to sing for anybody at this point in time. I used to sing for a really long time and I'll sing just to myself, by myself. <laughs> My cats will freak out. Whistling too. But yeah, singing, if I sing in the bathroom and the cat's in the bathroom, he like has to leave. Or they'll like come up to me and start meowing. Like meow, meow, like nervous meowing. And I've had Oliver, my fat cat, full on jump up and like smack me in the face. <laughs> what are you doing? I hope that you guys enjoyed this Asian noodle dish idea. Again, I will link the recipe in the description of the video. I feel like personally for me, this wasn't saucy enough. Granted, I added a little bit more noodles than I was supposed to, but I also added more to the sauce than the recipe called for. So I thought that I had compensated for the extra noodles, but maybe I hadn't. I was expecting the sauce to be a little bit 
richer and darker. The recipe only called for about one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, which was supposed to really give it that nice color. I feel like it would have needed way more of the dark soy sauce personally to get that color. I ended up adding uh, more regular soy sauce than the recipe called for as well. I want to make this again, but I'm definitely going to make some adjustments. I absolutely loved the pea greens. I loved pretty much all of the vegetables in it. I feel like next time I might want to use like a ground pork or a ground beef just to try it out. All right guys, thank you so much for joining today. I really appreciate you guys and I just wanna say thank you for your patience and understanding while I was away on vacation in South Florida visiting my family for the holidays. Uh, it was a much needed break but I really am excited to be back filming eating with you guys, sharing different ideas, which I have like a ton of different things that I want to film already on my list. So it'll probably be a while before I can get through it all, but I've got a lot planned. So get excited for that. Comment below what you thought about this recipe. Do you have any suggestions for similar recipes maybe? Don't worry, I didn't forget about the Iranian food mukbang. It is very high up on my list. I'm planning to do it this week or next, at the very latest next week. Anyways, that's it for me today guys. Thank you again so 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 much for joining today and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.